Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey to unconditional love, back to our gorgeous divine lovers. And so what I wanted to share today was some stories from healings from people that I've done. And so just some amazing, amazing, amazing stories. And also synchronicities from all of us all over the world getting the same messages. Um, and also just to share, yesterday was the first day that I started using, I've just done a Holy Fire to Reiki Karuna, I'm never going to get that right course. <laughs> um, but basically it's an upgrade of the Reiki energy, so I do Holy Fire, Re um, basically I do Divine Love Healing and I can connect into your souls and get you the, basically do your healing, but at the same time I see everything like a film. So I see messages and see what your souls want you to know, really to put you in your highest path. Um, because it's all about moving out of the head and into the heart. And so um, with the Karuna Reiki added to the Holy Fire, what I found there is um, uh, part of it is about chanting. And you chant the, um, there are certain um, methods of chanting that you use for different healings. So for heart healing, for mind healing for sort of self-belief and different healings so interestingly when i was doing the healings yesterday i was just guided to use the chanting as well which is really lovely because the chanting happens at a vibrational level as well and it's a sound healing so which is a really nice well it's just a lovely touch because basically i didn't quite know how it was going to come through but i just kind of just started chanting so um, if it was heart healing that you needed I was chanting the heart healing if it was something else then you know it would be a combination of different chants um, but really really lovely because it happens at a vibration basically that sound healing goes through again that sort of <clears throat> I'm presuming that goes through from a for an, an, on an energetic level to your vibration and will basically uplift your soul song Everyone has a soul song, right? So sound healing works to make your vibration and your soul song stronger. So really just a lovely thing. Um, so what I want to show you today, I'm just going to, I've just received an email back from a lady that I did a healing for. Now in hers, I saw them picking, they were children and they were picking daisies and they were making a daisy chain. And they were making a daisy chain in the infinity sign. And then in the middle of the infinity sign, in the two circles, they were making a heart. And then I saw them um, as foxes and they were jumping up and down on a trampoline. And so every time they went higher, they went higher and higher and higher. So it's all about elevating their um, energies together. And then when we did the healing, then I see them covered in gold. Now... I'm just going to um, read out what, so again, very symbolic of you, could, you know, looking at each other as children, you're building this infinite love together. And then every time what you're doing now is you're ri rising each other's vibration in the golden energy. Um, so again, beautiful analogy of what's actually happening to you energetically. And these are, the, these are the sorts of things I see. It's either, you know, it's either healing a blockage and we see what that blockage is, but it might be showing you where your energies are at. It will be anything that is needed for you to help you at that time, right? So it could be anything. We just set the intent for the healing to go for your highest good. Okay, so she says, oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Nikki. A few things right away stand out for me. One is that I've been getting in touch with my inner child because my two little nieces are visiting right now. Today we were doing crafts and playing with glitter, so the gold glitter can be more perfect, as well as the fact that my twin and I appear as children. I love the image of the daisy chain and right away had to look up the meaning of the daisy. It symbolises purity, innocence and true love. <laughs> and is associated with the Norse goddess Freya, the goddess of love, beauty, fertility and motherhood. He has two children and I've found myself feeling motherly and nurturing lately, especially with my nieces here, yet dreaming of being in that role with his kids too. I mean, I often feel pregnant all the time and recently I've even felt like um, arms coming out of my tummy, which is very weird. Uh, but yeah, I often feel the same, very, very nurturing, very, well, I feel pregnant a lot. 
Um, okay, so she, then she says, and the fox. Wow. I have always associated the fox with my twin and I from the very beginning of our journey. He lives in a forest and told me how he used to see red foxes on his property. One time we were talking on the phone and he exclaimed he saw a red fox out the window as we were talking. I know he is probably feeling a bit lost right now and wondering how to find his way back to me. I know the clever fox can help him. And wow, I love the advert with the foxes jumping on a trampoline. I almost broke into tears when I saw them come out of the woods and begin, begin jumping up and down. I could see us watching the ad together and laughing so hard. I've also been seeing the number 22 and 222 off the charts. It's to the point I'm rolling my eyes every time I see it. This is so helpful, Nikki. Your video reading of the cards from the Golden Path today really resonated too, especially the one about inner conflict. I've been feeling conflicted lately and I don't want to be in that space, but I've been feeling all the what if and hesitancy around if we will be back together again and if we can smooth things out. It was really helpful to be reminded to see both as children, innocent, playful and pure, and to remember the love we share is eternal, regardless of what may have transpired between us. All of that stuff is so small and trivial compared to how great and beautiful our love is. Also, I just have to share that the ad that popped up next to the email you sent me about our healing was for Denver Mattress and featured the Loveland Twin <laughs> and the Summit Twin Mattress. How about that for confirmation and validation? Now, the funny thing is, is that I've been watching a James Corden um, take a break <laughs> where he'd done about mattresses. And in there, there was loads and loads of syncs and messages as well about, twin, you know, crazy. So I was like, oh, I love that because also it's funny because it's like a mattress and it's bed and it's all, you know, again, fertility and all of these messages around, you know. And it does make sense, right, because, you know, if we are, you know, we're part of that new, you know, this new age, a golden age and, and rising the vibe. So... I'm presuming that, yeah, some of us will, I mean, I, I guess a lot of us will be having kids because otherwise we're not going to, we have to keep spreading this love, don't we? So I don't know what happened. Let's see. Um, anyway, the next thing is, um, in her healing, I said, I was guided to tell her to invoke the power of the fox to um, help with her twin coming home. So we had this the other day, um, but this is what you do. Basically, to invoke the power of the fox, you just take on, uh, ask for the fox to go to your twin and basically cover, uh, basically the, the fox to help the twin come home, right? So, um, and, and that's it. You just have to say every day, please power of the fox, please help my twin come home. And what happens is that they, uh, the fox, because the fox is good at getting his way out of things and not being seen and is kind of like a, you know, a super kind of, um, what's the word? Super uh, sleuth, not sleuth, but you know what I mean? He can get his way out of things. Then um, this is what happens is that they will endeavor to help them to come home in the easiest way. So, invoke the power of the fox. And just remember to do it every day. That's what I would recommend. Um, okay, so she says, Thanks again for all of your amazing healing and guidance. I'm always in awe and feel renewed by it. Much love. Well, I am always in awe of the confirmation that I get back, to be honest. And I love doing it. So, because what is so lovely is that Every time it feels so amazing to be able to do this for people. It really does. And so that's why I feel so, so blessed to be doing it. Because, you know, I know what it's like to be on this journey and to, you know, it's the ups and downs and the fear and doubts do creep in. And that's why, you know, this, when I started to do this for myself, it cha totally changed. It totally changed the journey completely. And so just being able to do that and to be able to help you guys is just, oh, it's just amazing. I feel so blessed. And I know that people are going through some super hard times at the moment with their twins and their experiences, which is really testing them to the limit. So I just want to say that I love doing it and I'm so grateful. And for everyone that's going through those really challenging times, then 
just remember that your twin is is with you always in your heart, right? Always, 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 no matter what has happened, no matter where they are in this world, in the next, have moved on to the next world, anywhere, they're always, always, always with you in your heart. So just look at these twin pair of bears. This is somebody that somebody else sent me, pandas, and... Um, the giant panda and look this is actually you and your twin intertwined together two souls together always always in the heart and um somebody else sent me um her little boy the day that i was putting about the ships and the messages about the boats and the boats coming home and they had hunter spirit and um, boomerang on them now her little boy had put two two um ship mag mag magnets on her cooker <laughs> And they were facing each other, two ships, and notice the time on the clock is 11.27. Now 27 is the energy card for walking away from all energy, you know, from basically all things. And, you know, we're all walking away from things at the moment. You know, well, we will continue to because that is the life of being on a spiritual journey because you're forever moving up in your vibration. And moving up in your vibration means that you have to leave your old vibration things behind. And that is a challenge, you know, because it's a constant evolving, you know, it's a, it's a constantly evolving, just like the healing is, you know, just it changes all the time. And you can't be, um, you have to be open to how it changes. Because if you, you know, one of the things with the Reiki, you have to let go when you when you're doing this particular type of Reiki, you have to let go of certain guides or be prepared to. Uh, well, yeah, you have to let go of guides because you're going to a higher level of vibration. Now, of course, that takes a big leap of faith because your guides you've been attached to for such a long time, right? Um, but you have to just go with it because you just have to know that you're always going to the highest level, the highest level, the highest level, and the next level, and the next level, and the next level. And so that's why this journey is always going to be a roller coaster. But you can't get off it. <laughs> so you've just got to buckle up and enjoy it and see it for the beauty of what it can bring you and the amazing life that you can have. So... That is the message. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's coming to me for healing. I am doing more today, so I'm fully caught up by the end of today. So if you want to book for healings or for readings, then please do. I'm doing a special at the moment of only £20 and buy two, get three. And so if you buy seven, you get ten. I will be putting my prices up soon um, because the healings are just getting more and more and more um, kind of long and involving different sound healings and lots of different things now so um but I'm not sure when but if you want to buy packages then it means I will ca carry on honoring this 7 to 10 7 10 magic 7 get, get 7 by 10 you know no oh, no not on that. get 7 by 10 that wouldn't be a good deal at all buy 7 get 10 um but I'll just have to see what happens over the next sort of week or so all right. But anyway, in the meantime, thank you so much. And to everyone out there, remember your twin is in your heart always. No matter where they are, on which reality they're in, then they're with you in your heart. All right. Take care. I hope that helps. Bye.